Hey gang, what's up? This is Chad, and welcome to a special holiday edition of Firechild Entertainment After Effects Tutorials. What I'm going to show you how to make today is a uh, cool snow globe, um, complete with snowflakes and, you know, little bits of snow in there. You know, because, you know, it's the holiday season, so your boss is at one point or another going to come by and say, Hey, we need some kind of holiday spot, and we want it to be festive and whatnot. So, you know what? Lose this Christmas tree, put in your company logo, you know, write happy holidays, hand it off to them, pats you on the back, go home, have an eggnog, live happily ever after. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's nice to dream. Anyway, I know what you're asking yourself right off the bat. Who in their right mind would put a snow globe in space? And, you know, hey... How exactly does the Positrack rear end on a Plymouth work? It just does. Wow, that was horrible. I'll tell you what, whoever can name the movie that that line came from will get a free project file from me um, to make up for the dorkiness. Uh, so the first person to leave a comment that tells me the name of the movie and the character that said the line will get a free After Effects project file from me. I'll send you a link, you can download it, use it for whatever you want. Uh, I can't promise, it, promise it's going to be anything spectacular because I have, well, I haven't created it yet. But, uh, yeah, good luck. Let's get back on track here. Lots to do, not a lot of time to do it in. Okay, first thing we need to do is create a new composition. We'll call this snow, snow globe, if I can learn how to type, not glowed. I don't know what a glowed is. Uh, we'll set it to NTSC D1 widescreen. That's good. And then we'll create a new solid layer. Uh, we'll call it background. And change the color to a dark blue. And I'm not going to make the starry sky. This is just, uh, just something for an example. And we'll apply a circle effect. A circle effect to it. it. Gives us a white circle. We'll change the blending mode to stencil alpha increase the radius of it and feather it and increase the radius some more feather it some more and there we go we got a background nothing fancy okay on to the globe itself we'll go layer new solid and what we're creating now is the glass material make it white and comp size, click OK. And then we want to pre-compose this layer. Layer, pre-compose. We'll call this glass, click OK. And then what we need to do is apply CC Sphere. We're going to be using this one a lot, so if you don't have it, check the installation disk uh, that you got for After Effects. You'll find it on there. As long as you don't have a super old version of After Effects, I'm not sure when they started including the CC effects, but I know uh, 7 onward should have it, I'm pretty sure. Um, unless, of course, you're using a pirated bootleg copy of After Effects, in which case, shame on you, you're more than likely getting a lump of coal in your stocking from Santa. Or a nice lawsuit from Adobe, so either way, scary, scary stuff. Uh, you know, do it legal, guys. Alright, let's apply the CC Sphere effect. Just gives us a you know, simple sphere, can't see through it, no transparency, we'll fix that. But uh, first thing, we're going to go ahead and hit Control D to duplicate the layer. We'll change the duplicate to Light Edge 1, and what we're doing here is just giving it a nice edge, you know, a light spill, because it's, you know, it's supposed to be made out of glass. And we'll go into the light settings, we'll set the direction over here on this side drop the height down a whole bunch because all we want is just like that just the edge then we'll bring the intensity up like so I'll probably drop this down just a little bit more just want a nice edge on it and then if we duplicate uh, actually yeah if we duplicate that layer again get another light edge go back into our light settings change the direction you know to the other side you find something you like and I'm actually going to decrease the intensity and increase the height because I just want it, I want a little something something here. Just a little bit of light right there like that. Now the problem is, is you can't see any of the ones below it. So what we'll do for the light edge layers, we'll change their transfer mode to screen 
and that way we can see through to the bottom one and if we go to glass we'll hit T and we'll drop the opacity of our glass layer to 20 percent that way we can see through it somewhat but there's still a little bit of you know distortion and light and whatnot okay that's our basic glass so the next thing we need to do is create a new solid and we'll call this snow uh, make sure it's well color doesn't matter white and then we'll go CC particle CC particle world we'll apply CC or you can go effect simulation CC particle world right there uh, we'll turn the grid to off <clears throat> let's move down a little bit and yeah that doesn't look anything like uh, snowflakes does it so let's fix that by first of all uh, over here I've got a snowflake composition uh, yeah you can you know go on Google and find snowflakes galore make your own in Illustrator or Photoshop I'm just gonna use this one I'll go ahead and drag it in drag it in and I'm gonna put it at the bottom of my stack and turn the eyeball off I don't really need to see it I just need to utilize it so back in our snow layer we'll go to our physics We'll leave it as explosive. We'll change the velocity to about 0.3. Turn the gravity off to where it's flying straight at the camera. And birth rate, we don't need so many snowflakes. We'll change that to about point, uh, you know, 0.4, I guess. You can play around with that and get something you like. And now if we go into the particle system, the particle settings, we'll change the particle type from line to textured faded disk. And then under the texture, we'll set the texture to our snowflake that we imported earlier. Bring the birth size and the death size all the way up, like so. And the color's all wrong, so if we go down here to birth color and death color, we can change those back to white. Both of them. And there we go. Now the problem is it really doesn't look like it's inside of a sphere. It just looks like it's uh, blowing around in front of the sphere. Not too realistic. But if we uh, click on our glass layer and select CC Sphere, hit Control C, then go to our snow layer and paste it in with Control V, then let it catch up with the render here. Now, if we just put the outside, well, maybe full. Full is fine. Now if we scrub through we can see that it's rotating around the inside of a sphere instead of just blowing out at the camera. Kind of helps to sell the effect, make it a little more a little more interesting. Uh, back in the CC particle world we can go into the particle there and increase the size variation to 100. There's a bunch of different things going on here. And there we have it. All we have left now to make is the base. And a real simple way to make the base, we'll create a new composition. Type base. Hit OK. Actually, composition settings. We'll need to set it 1000. Oops. 1000 by 100. And that gives us a real long, thin one. We'll create a new solid. Uh, this is something you guys can mess around with. I'm just going to do something real quick here. You know, just a red solid, why not? And then if we go back into our snow globe and drop our base layer above all this and apply CC Sphere to the base layer, then we can drop the radius. Uh, actually offset it a little bit and then just drop it down and bam there's your base. Pretty cool huh? So now we've got a base. You know, I can go a little more into detail on how to make the basing. You can mess with the lighting on that. I'll leave that up to you because the big focus was this. There you have it. You have this uh, three-dimensional well quasi three-dimensional um, yeah, one other thing. Yeah, I think that's about it, actually. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and take care.